All right, today on the What Happened the Music podcast, new and improved viewing angles. They're not improved. Well, there you go. So, um... If you wanted an episode, then this is what we were going to have to do because I forgot a mic stand. Anyway, so our to- today's topic is the WTOP news article that John sent me uh, a couple weeks ago, um, talking about the copyright infringement between Blurred Lines and Got to Give It Up. So I guess uh, apparently more than 200 musicians, and I think understandably, uh, are supporting a Blurred Lines appeal. So okay. you have Robin Thicke, and I- I'm going to I'm just going to lay it out here. I do not think the song is any way in copyright infringement i love the music of marvin gay he's classic and i hate blurred lines and i hate robin thick i'm okay with alan thick but that's just because he was on growing pains um so it's not like i'm a robin thick fanboy but i always cite this as i thought i knew something about copyright infringement until i heard this because structurally i mean you can argue that it has the same the same feel and I think that was the big, apparently the problem, the problem, where all of a sudden it was like, yeah, we were going, for, you know, we're trying to do like a Marvin Gaye thing. And yes, it has a similar feel to Marvin Gaye. You cannot sue for feel. If you could sue for feel, every single song would be a copy of every single song. Got to feel it, man. It's all about the feel. You got to sue for feel. You know, uh, you know, we want to do like a John Coltrane thing. And then it's like you play a blues and then all of a sudden the estate of John Coltrane is going to be suing. So, I mean, it's, (laughs) um, so did they say something specific about the songs or was it just like these songs feel so similar? It's in a spiritual cosmic sense. I think, I think you're, I think you're talking about a runaway jury. Okay. That said, Oh, I like Marvin Gaye and doesn't know what they're talking about. I mean, just in terms of, of structurally, um, where the song is going to, and especially with like uh, a lot of the R and B and funk tunes, where it's like chord wise, they're they're very sort of similar. I, they're they're I was usually gonna, hanging on a one chord for quite a bit. I was gonna say I noticed a lot of these um, copyright cases that have popped up recently have been for songs in this style, like that throwback kind of R and B. Well, I think immediately on a throwback, all of a sudden somebody says, "Oh, you must be ripping it off because it's a throwback." It's a little bit more obvious than... I, I mean, like, the, these songs are... It's it's an excellent style of music. I love it. But they're not exactly uh, complicated, musically speaking. So, yeah, um, I mean, that's the... And that's the thing. Um, and my dog agrees, by the way. So, um, it, it's, it's just interesting to see how... I, and I guess because they're both popular artists that it gets a lot of facetime on the internet like oh this case came up if blurred lines didn't make a dime this would not be a lawsuit this is not a thing of principle um yeah i'm very familiar with the stay with me sam smith uh versus uh, tom petty thing yeah yeah i mean even that listening to that and i know a lot of people will listen to that and say it's not copyright infringement and i'm like i really i really don't think sam smith said hey i'm going to uh steal this song. steal uh won't back down but at least I can listen to that and go, yes, I completely hear what song they're referring to. It's not like, I don't know, I feel like if, if all of a sudden I were to have a Bossa Nova hit, um, which I probably will never have a Bossa Nova hit, but if all of a sudden I, I you know, did a throwback Bossa Nova thing and I made millions of dollars, I was like, oh yeah, Joe Beam, he's fantastic, blah, 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 blah. All of a sudden, somebody who has the, you know... Who, owns uh the the rights to joe beam's estate would be like oh you know what i think we could sue successfully and because the i i think it's an issue of the jury not knowing anything well then where would contrafacts come into this whole thing oh, we're playing the same, same, it's the same chord progression but a different yeah so what a contrafact is so i mean can you give some examples of, of some popular ones um basically every blues ever okay so a... basically what a contrafact is you take <laughs> You take the same exact chord progression to a song and you put a brand new melody. Now, this was extremely popular during the um, with you know, jazz, especially in you know, the bebop players, uh, you know, Coco. Where that, you know, you'd Cherokee. only have to learn one set of chord changes and then learn mm-hmm. all these different melodies, which takes way less time. You know, it's uh, you and know, and then you got this whole big repertoire. The Flintstones theme song is the same exact chord progression changes. to, you know, I've got rhythm, which yeah. is the same as rhythm and Ning, which is the same as anthropology, which is the same. You know, I mean, it, the, the list goes on. Right. Um, how high the moon is um 
Oh, or anthology. Or anthology. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I could sing it, but not think the title. Beyonce sang that. Did she really? Yeah, she. Uh, I, f- I forget what song she was singing. That's hers because I don't pay attention. But she like broke into that in the middle of it. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, bass. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, so I mean, I, I mean, other than me sitting down and really doing analysis on this, and maybe I will. Apparently, this is still in the news. Um, I mean, put your thoughts on there. I just, I just. I just, I don't get it. If, if you would like it. us to dig into this um, yeah, structurally, you... musically, theoretically, words or not. Um, yeah, if, if you want us to really uh, <laughs> dig into it um, a little more of an academic way, yeah, I'll do, I'll let, do an you know, leave a comment when we will gladly supply that. Otherwise, you know, just brief commentary on it. Crazy. <laughs>